What's going on YouTube? Come back at you another video. So, Boosie now speaking out after the feds try to stop him from being able to leave jail despite the fact that the judge ruled that he could be bonded out. Boosie is alleging prosecutorial misconduct. I'm going to read you this tweet that he put up. It says, after the judge has granted me a bond and I paid my full cash amount, the prosecution refused to respect the judge's decision to let me go. They show no evidence of me being a flight risk or a danger to the community. The prosecutor, Mr. Wheat, looked at me singing, wipe me down, wiped his shoulders and shook his head with an evil look in his eyes. This is total misconduct from a prosecutor. He is racist and has evil intentions. Now they filed an appeal asking another judge to keep me in prison. I need the people of San Diego outside the court tomorrow to protest the injustice that is being done to me. I need all my prayer war warriors across the world to pray this Southern District of California remove Mr. Wheat and this prosecution off my case. Even my attorneys have never seen nothing like this in their career. Help me fight this injustice and say a prayer for my freedom tomorrow. So a couple things I wanted to touch on, and this isn't to put Boosie down. This is to let you people out, know, uh, out there know the reality about prayer. A lot of times I see people living how they want, doing everything they want, and then something bad happens and they pray to God. And, and, and a lot of times they think, oh, God isn't answering my prayer. Why isn't God answering my prayer? The answer is in the Bible. And I wanted to show you something about asking for prayer or praying when you don't actually follow the word of God. Let's look at a couple of scriptures. For the eyes of the Lord are over the righteous and his ears are open to their prayers. But the face of the Lord is against them that do evil. If you don't do God's will, if you just do whatever you want, God doesn't care about your prayers. That's not me saying that. That's the Bible. For the eyes of the Lord are over the righteous, the people that live the way that God wants them to live. And his ears are open to their prayers. But the face of the Lord is against them that do evil. The Lord is far from the wicked, but he heareth the, pray, the prayer of the righteous. God hears the prayer of people who follow his word. If I regard iniquity in my heart, the Lord will not hear me. Again, that's talking about prayer. If you are okay with living against God's law, against God's word, God is not going to hear your prayer. He turneth away his ear from hearing the law. Even his prayer shall be an abomination. That goes as far as saying, if you don't follow God's word, your prayer is an abomination to God. If you just come to God in times when you want something, but then all the rest of the time you disregard what God's law is and what his word is, your prayer is an abomination. That's the Bible. This isn't me. This is the Bible. Now we know that God heareth not sinners, but if any man be a worshiper, for, a worshiper of God and doeth his will, him he heareth. I mean, again, it's just reiterating the same point over and over and over. God hears the prayer of people who want to do his will. God does not hear the prayer of people who disregard his will and do not care about the things that he says. God has given us free will. That's the amazing thing about God. He gives you a choice. He lets you make the choice for yourself. If you don't choose him, and you don't choose to follow him and you choose to live according to the way that you want and do the things according to the way you want, even if it's outside of God's will, God's not going to be listening to your prayers. And that's just the reality. Now, I think there is, um, again, this is just my opinion because I don't know. I'm not God. I'm not speaking for God. But I think there is some like leeway in this. In regards to like somebody who's a sinner who wants to change, who wants to grow, who wants to be spiritually right. I think that their prayer, you know, potentially is going to be heard. Somebody who's in a, a state of wanting to change. But if you're just in a state of 
your your cool and contempt um with the, the, or excuse me not contempt content with the way that you're living but the way that you're living is outside of God's will then you're not going to be God's not going to be listening to your prayer but if you're actually a we're all sinners if you're a sinner who wants to change and wants to grow and wants to um adhere to God's law God will hear your prayer um my warning to Boosie is if you don't find God right now and really find God right now by picking up that Bible and by getting to know God's law and God's word, you're in for a whole lot worse than what the feds can do to you. Spiritual death is is infinite times worse than doing 10, 15, whatever, you know, however many years Boosie gets, um, you know, if he does end up getting time out of this case. Spiritual death is far worse. And this message is to everybody out there. Again, um, no matter how bad things are in life, you have an opportunity to attain spiritual life, which means after you die, you don't die. You you live forever. If you don't find God, then you have to look forward to spiritual death. Not only will you die in this life, but then you'll die a second death which is the death that you don't want to die. So um, take the time where you can, pick up that Bible, find Jesus, acknowledge Jesus, give Jesus the praise that he deserves, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. There's nothing soft about Jesus. A lot of people out here have this misconception that Christians are soft, that, that Christians are weak, that Jesus is soft and weak. Jesus is the most powerful out of everybody and everything. Jesus holds authority over everything created in heaven and on earth and below. So remember that there's nothing soft about Jesus. There's just been a misrepresentation of what the church looks like. But following God is not soft. It's not weak. It's the smartest thing you could ever do. It's the best thing you could ever do. And I hope you heed the advice. And I definitely hope Boosie heeds it as well. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Leave some feedback. Hit the like, subscribe, share. You can check me out on Instagram if you want. Daily Hip Hop Classics, all one word at, um, at Instagram. I appreciate you watching. Peace.